Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day, I've selected a composer who's had a role to play with these organizations, and today it's the Swedish composer Sven David Sandström, born in 1942, died in 2019 an amazing composer who had studied at Stockholm University and the Royal College in Stockholm, taught at that Royal College, and for 10 years taught composition at Indiana University in the USA. Over 300 works, operas, oratorios, ballets, choral, orchestral, his music I would describe as an interesting blend of modernist, minimalist, uh, jazz, pop, and in about 1980 he changed his style and wanted to link himself to the tradition of composers like Bach and Handel. And he began to compose some immense, wonderful pieces. A one that he did was a high mass. He wrote it in 1994. He also, because of Bach having done a B minor mass, he did a mass in the same 25 movements. And that high mass that I mentioned, we performed at Vocal Essence at Orchestra Hall. And I mean, it was an amazing experience for the audience, but even a more amazing experience for the choir to learn. So he also composed a piece that we premiered called Five Pictures from the Bible. And this was a piece for a baritone solo and a cappella choir. The ensemble singers performed this at Bethel University in 2006 and the baritone was the esteemed Swedish baritone Håkan Hagegård. The piece is a set of these various movements from the Bible, uh, Jacob's Dream, The Waters of Meriba, Daniel and the Lion's Den, The Parable of the Good Samaritan, and The Parable of the Prodigal Son. His music is dramatic, no question about it but it's big, so when you are singing, know that I am with you and will keep you wherever you go, and it's to sound like God, well, I can tell you, what you're gonna get is. That puts your soprano up to high, C sharp, and the tenor is the same. It's dramatic and wonderful music. So a choir, a singer, has to prepare very carefully vocally so you don't sort of lose all of your vocal possibility too early because this is a piece that would last a half hour. Now there's some quiet places too. So you see what a person like Sven David Sandstrom has done is he'll take a chord like this, but to make it sort of more energetic, he adds this note to it. So you have this, but you have this. And then you have this, but then you get this. So there's that added tension, in a way, and drama that happens in his music. He also composed, in 2004, a Christmas oratorio, and in 2009, he did his version of Handel's Messiah. Now, it isn't the music of Handel. It's his own music, but he used all of the texts that Handel used in composing Messiah. He then, again, thinking about what Bach had done in St. Thomas Leipzig, 
he decided to write a cantata for each of the feast days. And he did, I mean, all of it challenging, wonderful music, music that the ensemble singers could do, and a number of other choirs, but not something that, let's just say, an average church choir could undertake. Though a number of the Swedish church choirs, which are amazing, did undertake it. So he also wrote a mass, it's called Missa Cum Hubrio, a mass of joy. And so here you are uh, in that mass when you get to the movement that's at Resurrexit and he arose from the dead. So you have it for six part choir, soprano, mezzo, alto, tenor, baritone, bass. So they each have their own part and they finally come together. So you get this. You start very quietly and get bigger. see it's powerful wonderful joyful and challenging music music of the Swedish composer Sven David Sandstrom have a wonderful day <laughs>